The Real Show is brought to you by UCS Facility Management Limited, Omni Basic Bank and Dewdrop Hand Sanitizer. Welcome back to The Real Show. If you just joined us, we're about to have an amazing time with our second segment because we have beauty queens in the studios. And guess what? The first session with them is the Miss NMTC. That is Miss NMTC, standing for Nursing and Midwifery Training College in Ghana. How amazing is that? Women are leading the world and are moving everything. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. And I must say, I'm proud of you for merging the winners. Uh, can you introduce the positions? Uh, okay, you are a first runner-up. That's a second runner-up. And Portia Ahinkan, who is the organizer, I know her personally. So you mention your name and you as well. Okay. Please, I am Ampo for Blessing. Okay. And I am the first runner-up. Nice. And you? All right, and that's Portia Ahinkan. So tell us, how has the journey been and what's the purpose of Miss NMTC? Okay, the journey has really been an amazing one. And the purpose for this pageant is for young girls out there to come, to come and be able to speak up, tell others about or tell others about the things that goes on in pageantry. Okay. Because a lot of people don't have ideas about pageantry. People have um, odd beliefs about pageantry. And this pageant called Miss NMT Sigana has really um, made us know that there are differences in pageantry. Great. Let's have a look at this video and we'll be back. <laughs> From the second runner-up of Miss NMTC, please your name again. I have to keep referring to you as your name. Mabel and Blessing. Blessing. So Mabel just told us something about what Miss NMTC is about. Let's hear from the organizer and then we can move on. <laughs> okay. I'm Nana Henkan Ajiman Porsche. I'm the CEO of I Groom Ghana Pageants and I'm also the executive director for Miss NMTC Ghana. Mm -hmm. So the Nursing and Beauty Free Students, they are the largest platform of students in Ghana. Okay. And when it comes to pageantry, we have just a little percentage of nursing and midwife partaking in pageantry. So we decided that since we are all health workers and health students, we decided that we are going to create a platform that is very specific to the nursing and midwifery trainee students. So Miss NMTC Ghana is a pageant solely for nurses and midwifery trainees. Its, it's aim is just to promote health through beauty. That is amazing. Promoting <laughs> health through beauty. That is Miss NMT for you. Tell us how it feels to be the first runner-up. Okay. And it what it took for you to win this position. <laughs> Thank you. It feels really great for being the run first runner-up of Miss NMTC Ghana, Nursing and Midwifery Training College of the whole Ghana. But it wasn't easy. We had to embark on projects. Also, we had to vote and also we had to go extra in order to win the competition because it wasn't easy. As you can see, I was the first runner up, the winner, and the second runner up. So with all of us, everyone, everybody wanted to be the winner, but mm. we did our best and our best brothers here. So. Well, you are all winners, and I must say you look amazing. Thank you. And a big shout out to the queen herself, for not, even though she's not here. And I'm sure she's with us in spirit. You all look amazing, and congrats. Thank for coming you. out as winners. In fact, everybody, I'm sure, was a winner. Because it's not easy to be a nurse in the first place or a midwife. And to even take the mantle to decide to go for a position. And I'm glad that Miss Ahinkan and her team has come up with a 
a beautiful pageant like Miss NMT for all nurses and midwives in the country to also have a chance and a platform where they have a voice to motivate, to empower, better themselves and inspire the next generation. Now tell us what your projects are now that you have won. What do you plan to do with the crown? Thank you. So basically my project is about promoting the health of prisoners. The wow. Yes, please. Why prisoners? Okay. So as we all know, prisoners are disadvantaged people in society okay. who have little or no control over their environment. Mm -hmm. So it is the responsibility of us to see to it that their health are attended to. And how yes. do you plan to do this? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I have already started with this journey. I plan on going to the prisons through the help of philanthropists, non-governmental organizations, we would reach out to prisons and see to it that their health are being attended to. So it means you're open to partner with other people to make yes, this please. happen. That is amazing. So if you're watching and you have the passion to help people in the prisons, Rachel, right? Blessing. Blessing and Rachel. Hey, what is happening on Friday night tonight? The vibe is too much for me. So Blessing and Mabel. Blessing is the first one up and she's saying that she has her hat uh, for the prisoners and she's trying to do something great for them. If you're out there, you want to connect with Blessing, you can reach out to Miss NMTC. You can go to their Instagram, reach out on the number. Miss Ahinkan and her team are lovely and they will work with you to make this happen for a shared positive purpose. And you, what do you want to do for your project? Okay, thank you very much. Um, I've decided to embark on the project for family planning and when the um, people hear family planning what comes in mind is the pills and all that yeah. but mine is basically on abstinence not just that when you when you tell people about abstinence they're going to be like oh no it's not going to be possible but I believe that with this project, I'm going to touch on the lives of the young ones, the adolescents, because in, even in Ghana, it's about 14% of people every year, the adolescents, especially the girls, they get pregnant every year, becoming school dropouts and not being able to um, actualize their dreams, that's which they wanted to be. So I've decided to embark on the journey, family planning, in order to help uh, young ladies out there to continue or become whatever they want to be. Do you plan on doing this through school tours? I mean, how, yes, how do you please. plan on doing this? I plan on going to schools and um, I'm basically, I'm targeting the junior high schools and the senior high schools. So I've decided to go to the schools to tell them or let them know more about why I'm embarking on this great. journey. And it's, it's, it's a great choice we've made as well because that's to be connected to health, which is what you're doing. And we need the abstinence because the teenage pregnancy is affecting people's lives and um, government's growth as well because they are the future leaders. And so if they stunt their development by having unexpected pregnancy, then that's a problem. And I'm glad you've targeted that. Yes, the UN is actually targeting something of the sort. That's why through YOLO, they had a project, YOLO, which I was even a part of by Farmhouse Production, and we were also targeting something of the sort. So you can reach out and try and get them on board. I must say I commend you all for what you're trying to do. And Miss Portia, how has it been trying to get sponsorship to get people on board to empower these women? I know that Ghanaians, I mean, we've understood the importance of uh, pageantry, the empowerment it gives our women. I think there's a little bit of laid back still and some misconce misconceptions people have about pageantry. Clarify some of the misconceptions for people to know that pageantry is actually a very powerful thing they should promote and let brands know that you're open to working with them by letting them know some of the areas you're targeting. It's very true when it comes to the topic of misconceptions about pageants. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of misconceptions out there about pageantry. Mm -hmm. I myself am a beauty queen. I was Miss Commonwealth Ghana first runner. <laughs> so I know what it goes, what goes into pageantry. And when it comes to the sponsorship aspects, it hasn't been easy, but we are grateful to the few sponsors we have care for travel and tour. The, the winning prize for Miss NMTC was a trip to Dubai and Yay! is sponsored by Carefront Travel and Tour. We also have other sponsors like Belacqua. We have other designers who dedicated their time, their fabrics 
for free we had sponsorship from photographers and all that and for all these misconceptions sometimes it gets in the way but you have to know what you are targeting because for the Miss MTC Ghana at our platform is to promote health mm -hmm. and as you can see all their projects are, is about health every contestant who is part of Miss MTC Ghana is supposed to execute their project from family planning sickle cell awareness um Project PMP targeting prisoners is a whole lot. So when we go out there, we want our sponsors to know that it's not all about the glaze, the glamour, and all that. We want to make a change in society. I I I can tell because I have executed my project as breast cancer awareness. We did it in SHS and we were able to target eleven ladies who had lumps in their breasts wow. and we successfully took two out. And it has really helped her and her family. And one of the ladies, her mother didn't even know that the cause of death of their aunties and grandmother was breast cancer. So when we were able to detect the lump in her breast, we were able to track and know that they had a generational breast cancer issue. And it has helped the generation. And these are what we want to see our beauty queens do. So we need all the help we can get. We need people to support us, people to sponsor us. Let's make these ladies, their dreams become a reality. It doesn't just help the organization, it helps their families, it helps Ghana, it helps the society, and it also helps the health of Ghana at large. A healthy generation, is, it, it, gives, it, bring, it brings out development to the country. Imagine if everyone in the country is sick, but healthy people working, if the youth are healthy, it it's promotes economic our stability, development. everything. Yes, yes. So we want every brand to reach out to us. Sponsor, we need sponsors from every Ghana. Let's help promote Miss NMTC Ghana, promote the health of Ghana, and promote the development. Well said, Ms. Ahinkan. I know because I was also, I think, the first queen, Miss Kobo yes, Ghana. Queen. Yes, and, and you're doing amazing. I must commend you. There are other queens she is here with. So if you're not in the health department, not to worry. There are other, other pageants that she organizes that you can reach out for and also grab that platform and do something to make a change and develop yourself as a woman. And so, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Okay. You look lovely. As for the crowns, I have to see you and steal them because you're glitzing everywhere. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll be back with the other beautiful ladies. Mm -hmm.